guys welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs welcome back to another international instant match reaction and this is the Republic of Ireland's 3-2 win against Armenia at the Aviva Stadium in the Nations League of course and so guys we'll just start off with the team and uh, in goal was Gavin Bazunu the centre backs were Darrow O'Shea, Nathan Collins and John Egan wing backs Matt Doherty on the right on the left was Robbie Brady in the middle was Malumbi and Hendrick and then we had uh, and Knight I would say more or less like he was a bit fluid though, and then we Paris off Oba Femi, and uh, it was a game whereby I suppose Ireland dominated for the most part. Uh, in the first half, in particular, John Egan scored his third international goal from a header from a corner, and uh, completely dominated, dominated possession, dominated chances. The only thing I will say about the chances, most of them are from set pieces. Uh, to be honest, we find it difficult to to create actual chances in the game from open play, and that is an issue in the Ireland team. Um, when we come up against teams like Armenia in particular at times when the onus is on us to attack essentially we haven't got quite the craft to open teams up in my personal opinion um, and on to the second half I suppose because it was mad wasn't it the second half was mad um, it really was and um, well first of all actually mad wasn't it and uh i suppose first of all obafemi puts us 2-0 up with a fantastic drogba s goal um another brilliant goal from him takes it drives at them brilliant shot through his laces bottom corner 2-0 and you're thinking game over and you're thinking maybe ireland can open up and score a few more and they did open up and um, they created opportunities at one point in the second half of 13 shots to zero for example to ireland and um, they created opportunities. But then a couple of minutes of madness from Ireland let Armenia back into the game. Unbelievably stuff. Unbelievable stuff, I should say. <laughs> the first goal, obviously, they score. And, um, you know, it's, it comes out and it's deflected. And it goes by Bazunu. And it's in the net. After a bit of panic, to be honest with you, um, in the Irish back line. And then a couple of minutes later, they score again. And this time, Conor Horan, I don't know what he's doing. He's too nonchalant. Um, far too nonchalant with the ball gives it away i mean it's not even that armenia press onto it but he's given it straight to armenia and all of a sudden we're caught out of position completely uh armenia striking from outside the box and to be fair i think gavin bazuna who i'm a huge fan of should do better but it's that kind of stuff i mean we've seen against scotland you know the the lazy attempt from doherty for the first goal or the handball from Baron from the second goal as well but very very disappointing i mean horahan i mean calm down it's 2-1 they've got a goal back all right fair enough it can happen in the match calm down get your foot in the ball again just keep doing what we're doing and we probably win three or four one but no he gives the ball away in ridiculous fashion and as i said it ends up being 2-2 and it looks like we're throwing away a two-goal lead against armenia in which we have but we look like we're not going to win the game and then we get lucky we get a, a little bit of luck it's a handball it's a definite handball and it's a penalty in which fair play to robbie brady he wants a steps up takes the scores and i was laughing a bit to be honest the armenians got two players sent off in the shamozzle of the the penalty as well and i'm not really sure what they were complaining about it's a penalty and the story and they've lost the rag and they've ended up getting two players sent off and ireland nick a three too and it's a, it's 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 a tough one to talk about, to be honest with you, in many ways. And look, I think the Nations League, if I'm honest with you guys, I do. I think they're glorified friendlies, to be honest. You look at some of the other results. Hungary finished the top of a group with England, Germany, and Italy, I think, wasn't it? Italy as well. And you're kind of going, you know, I do think they're glorified friendlies still. And it's going to be very interesting how Ireland cope and do in, in the European campaign. I think that's going to be interesting. It's going to be the first time really with this new squad that we're going to have a campaign but we do there's no doubt that we have difficulty particularly against the weaker sides and a lot of that i know we got three goals tonight but a lot of that is we're finding it difficult to create proper opportunities as i said first goal is a header from a corner which is fair enough we're a threat from corners and you need that as well but the second goal is individual magic really from obafeni and then obviously the penalty but we aren't crafty enough. We're not crafty enough. We haven't got the craft to really take advantage against these poor teams. Now, at the same time tonight, we just gave away ridiculous goals in a couple of minutes of madness, and you just can't do that. Um, we completely seem to switch off and lose concentration and focus. 
Um, and you just can't do that. I mean, you know, someone of Horan's experience, not a player really rated anyway, but some of his experience, he's got to do better there in that position. It really wound me up. And obviously really got them back into the game to finish 2-2. I was taking a man the match as well, which was a difficult one, and I didn't want to give it the same person that uh, Kelly and RTE gave Stephen Kelly, but that was in my head before he gave it, so I'm not changing my mind just because he gave it either. I have to say Obafemi because he, he really worked hard, he worked the channels well, that individual goal was quality. Um, power and pace, hasn't he? He's got power and pace. And it was difficult to pick anyone else as a man in the match, because even up to the point where it went 2-0 up, and it was hard to pick out individuals. It wasn't a terrible performance at that point, but it was hard to pick out individuals. But as I said, interesting night, very interesting night. Um, mad in that second half. But um, I'll leave it there, guys. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments. What did you think of the performance? Who were the better players? Any points I talked about in this video? Subscribe if you're new. Hit your bell notification button so you don't miss the video. And take a breath and good night, guys.